today I'm going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of the Party City Halloween 2023 Bloody Ghost Trick or Treater animatronic. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunt, and welcome to yet another Halloween 2023 animatronic unboxing setup demo and review video. Now I am not gonna lie, I really did not expect to be making any more 2023 animatronic unboxings. I just put out my full 2023 animatronic collection video, if you haven't watched that, definitely go check it out after this one. But I kind of thought that I was just done buying 2023 props, I got everything I wanted, and now I'll be waiting for new unboxings for 2024. Well, just a couple of days ago, Party City announced that a couple of their animatronics would be 25% off since we are getting close to Halloween, and one of those animatronics was right here, the bloody ghost trick-or-treater being manufactured by Techie Design for this season. So a couple of days ago when they announced a 25% off sale, I said, hey, this is an amazing deal. He was already only $100 um, retail, and now for 25% off, he was going down to only around $80 with tax. So I said, that is way too good of a deal for me to pass off on. So I headed to my local party city and I had to pick up the bloody ghost trick-or-treater. As you can see, the bloody ghost trick-or-treater has a pretty small box. It's also pretty lightweight um, because he's only a three-foot animatronic. But as you can see there, front of the box is the classic all-black party city style with the bloody ghost treater stock photo on the front. It has his name. It says three feet high. Gives that he has some LED eyes and animation on the side. Same stock photo with that black. And then the back of the box is identical to the front. However, you have that price tag right there of $100, but like I said, he is now 25% off with after tax, that got him down to only $81 total is what I got the bloody ghost trick or treater for. All right, so I got my knife right here that I have used all season long, all the way back since July, when my animatronic unboxings were filmed in like 90, 80 degree weather, and now there's leaves falling down, so definitely a lot more fitting for Halloween animatronic unboxings. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the cardboard here because like I mentioned, since this guy is manufactured by Techie, all of his pieces are uh, twisty tied to the inside cardboard. But as you can see, there is our very first look at the Ghost Treater himself, the head, the hands, the bag there. Like I said, not many pieces for this guy. All right, so here is the body taken out of the cardboard packaging. And as you can see, he is already holding his bag, his trick-or-treating bag as well, with the pumpkin face and all the blood on it. Just take a look at how cool that face is. I love the eyes and how realistic they look. You have the blood on the sheet. Such a cool looking face with the rip in there. The hands also look super detailed, the skeletal hands. You got the blood on there obviously as well, so there's his body. Here we have the two shoes for the Ghost Boy, and these are very similar, uh, if not identical, to the Spirit Halloween 2013-2014 Le Limiting Zombie Boy. He's also manufactured by Techie. They kind of use the same shoes. I believe these are just much smaller. Here we have two styrofoam pieces with white cloth on them. I'm assuming these are the knees for the Ghost Boy. Here we have the main module and control box. And I do want to point out that all of the metal holes for the Ghost Boy are actually white instead of the normal black that we see most of the time on Techie Props, but there it is, his control box. And then finally, we have the two support poles for Ghost Boy, also the same white color, and finally, the very last piece in the box is the base here, which again is white. I have to say, I actually very much enjoy that Techie went with a white color for the Ghost Boy, because honestly, I think it just looks really sleek, and again, it blends in very, very well with the cloth that he has. The very last thing that I do want to show you is that this guy, just like all Techie 2023 props, does come with the snap lock uh, remover, I guess you can call it, that tool to help you push in snap locks. This came with every techie prop for this season, no matter what retailer the prop was sold at. I do want to point out one other thing, is that the bloody ghost trick-or-treater does not come with an adapter, um, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but kind of expected with it being one of the smaller props. He does just take a standard 6 volt 2 amp like any techie design prop. That's not an issue for me because I have so many extra adapters from collecting props, but if you don't, just know that you will have to purchase the 6 volt 2 amp adapter separately. But without any further ado, I got all his pieces taken out of the box. Like I said in the beginning, definitely not that many parts, but I have the instructions right here. Let's jump to the time lapse. So here he 
is the Party City Halloween 2023 Bloody Ghost Trick or Treater animatronic assembled in all of his glory. But before I give you my thoughts on him, let's take a look at the demos. Alright, so you just saw the demos for my Party City Halloween 2023 Bloody Ghost Trick or Treater animatronic. And overall, I have to say that for the price tag, I think this is a perfect animatronic from Party City. Now, I do want to say that I think even from the get-go, this guy being 100 bucks was a tremendous price tag. $100 for what you're getting here is a very, very good deal. But now, considering that he's 25% off, uh, including a couple of other props, I think the deal is just even greater. Like I said in the beginning, I got this guy for a total of $81, including tax and everything like that. And come on, 80 bucks for what you're getting for this three foot animatronic with animation, with LED eyes, and the look that he has. In my opinion, it does not get much better at all than that price tag. I absolutely love the way that this guy looks. I think he has a super nostalgic, classic Halloween vibe to him, which I always love seeing in Halloween animatronics. He's a classic ghost, what you would see like trick-or-treating on, on the street somewhere, and I think the concept of him was executed perfectly. I think his animation fits the character very well, even though it is simple with him just turning from side to side. It kind of sells that idea of him being a trick-or-treater even better because he's holding the candy bag and he looks like he's kind of wanting candy. Andy, um, to get from you. One of my other favorite things about this guy is the audio. Now, this is something I noticed all the way back in August at Party City's VIP Halloween kickoff, and that is that the Bloody Ghost Trick or Treater has audio from Halloween. That's right, the original Halloween. This guy has audio pulled from the movie, which was very surprising to hear back in August because all of us in the community and everything like that, no one had any idea what this guy's audio would be. And when I turned him on back at Party City's flagship store and heard that for the first time, Okay, I gotta point this out right away. His audio, he has like the Halloween original. He does. What the heck? You probably heard that back in my flagship store tour video. I was just incredibly shocked and very excited to hear that. So now being able to actually have him and hear that audio up close, I think it fits him perfectly. And although it was a very big surprise for him to have audio from Halloween, it is absolutely the perfect fit since he's a trick-or-treater. Really, I guess the only thing I do want to point out, and I already did point it out, is that he doesn't come with an adapter. That is kind of annoying in a way. But again, if you're getting him now for 80 bucks, you can go and get a six volt two amp adapter for $10 from so many websites and, and other retailers. So it's a very minor thing, but something I am going to point out. In terms of the prop itself, I honestly think he's perfect and you are definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck with the Bloody Ghost Treater and I would highly recommend you go to your local party city and pick up the Bloody Ghost Trick or Treater for 25% off. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Horns. I'll see you guys later for more Halloween 2023 animatronic unboxings. Goodbye.